So I'm going to pop my guitar down for a second while I introduce this video because, man, Chainsaw Man, I decided to take a couple, I decided to take a, my own few week break after the, after the hand explosion chapter. Not gonna lie. Last anime moment to borderline traumatize me like this, besides like Kuma's backstory in One Piece, slash Bonnie's backstory in One Piece, is the death of Shigikuni Yamamoto Genryu Sai from Bleach, right? Uh, Head Captain Yamamoto. Well, this moment has somewhat traumatized me on a level similar to Yamamoto in intensity, but emotional, emotional uh, investment. Uh, Jesus Christ. Nayuta has been gone for a minute. She has been missing for a minute. Now, this is how she returns, bro. This is how she returns, bro. This is this is heavy spoiler warning. She returns. She returns. <laughs> However, Nayuta's return is a uh, return that uh, kind of shocked me. Like how Gojo's return just happened. In Jujutsu Kaisen, like three weeks ago. Bro. So here we are in two extreme parallels between some Chainsaw Man chapters. If you saw chapter 167 and 168, you know what I'm talking about. 169. Kind of leads up into this. 169, they go into a sushi house. And Denji... Denji already looking kind of shook. He's like, where's Nayuta? And they're like, save us and we will give you her. And, well... He's just sitting there being served sushi. Weirdest... Weirdest... Uh, weirdest scene ever. This guy's just eating sushi, then he gets all of a sudden surprised. Chapter 170 rolls around. Called How to Eat Sushi. This guy is handing him more sushi. He's explaining him the sushi. And then he starts running down the power system that we all know and love already. Denji's powers, Denji's abilities, and what is the source of Denji's power, uh, as if we all already don't fucking know. But now, after he has cryptically explained that it requires Denji to be unhappy and everybody to fear him, he screams to the other, to the chef. Send it down the line. I'm going to just let you seep into what I'm about to say for a second because this is borderline horrifying. And the fact that we have to see the reaction of everybody before it reaches Denji and seeing Denji's reaction... Not to mention the panels leading into that final panel. <sighs> yeah, there's Nayuda, guys. Nayuda's right there. First off, let's talk about how this is a health code violation. This is a health code violation. This is a sushi spot. 
There is raw fish, guy. Raw fish. And that head looks like it's been there a minute. That head has had time to partially decompose. That thing looks dried out and full of bacteria. Secondly, secondly, that was on a whole tray, like a whole conveyor belt full of sushi. Now you have to wipe that entire thing down. If you don't get shut down, you had a severed head on your sushi conveyor belt. You know how you know how against health code violations that is. My word! Like, if this was Yelp, this would be a zero out of five. Saw severed head on sushi conveyor conveyor belt. Never going again. But this is this is going on into another thing that I, I, this is just me deflecting. Because of the fucking trauma of this chapter. So we see Nayuta return. After all this time. And I think they forgot to add the mole under her eye. If, if. There's a chance that she might still be alive. But if she isn't alive. This is a way to end a character. This was genuinely horrifying. I just, like, I was sitting there, reading the chapter. I have never, ever felt so mortified flipping the pages of a manga since that Shikikuni Genryu Yamamoto incident I mentioned at the beginning of this video. And... I don't know how to... I, uh, uh, <laughs> this, this is straight up a mob hit. Like... Like, this is what happens, like, when you cross a cartel, but, like, Jesus Murphy, this is... This is like, this is some deep, deep shit, bro. This is some deep shit. I don't, I don't like, I don't feel this way about manga chapters, but why? This means that Denji is about to have a mental fucking breakdown next chapter. Like, the entire fan base is... I'd assume everybody who reads Chainsaw Man. If you watch Chainsaw Man, uh, I've, you're probably not this far in the video. But if you watch Chainsaw Man... And I have just spoiled this whole Nayuta stuff for you. Uh, and, uh... My word. This is indescribable. Part, part of me wants sushi, though. This is... Is, is this... Is it is it messed up that I want sushi? Like, good, clean, uncontaminated sushi right now? That's beyond the point. That's beyond the point. Um, <sighs> Chainsaw Man about to... I, I, I can't wait to see where Chainsaw Man goes from here. With My Hero Academia ending, uh, Gege Akutani being sick and not seeing any more JJK, and um, waiting now a week for uh, One Piece. I I have Chainsaw Man to look forward to. Only Chainsaw Man, and the other the other stuff like. That's been helping me with deal with the Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man just be sitting there right now, 
on my weekly comic rotation, my weekly manga rotation. And it's just been sitting there like the problem child giving me hell. And I don't know where this problem child's going to go in life. I don't know if this problem child's going to kill me or this this problem child is going to be a work of art. This problem child, man. Oh, and now that all the other kids are away, the problem child is just chilling here. Yes, I'm calling Chainsaw Man the freaking problem child because literally three chapters ago, Denji was just having a great moment. He was have he was having an experience that like I uh, he had never experienced before. But now he's gone from that to this. Oh, uh, guys going from extremely horny to extremely unhorny. <laughs> This is just a discussion and not a thought-out deep dive, by the way. This is just my reaction to this chapter and how horrified it, it, it made me. Like... And also that it made me want sushi. Like, comment, and subscribe, fellas!